to your girl Consuela. And I am here to announce our raffle winner. We told you all that we were going to put the first 100 followers in for a raffle. And we kept our word. Um, and our winner is Miss Sasha Hunter. So congratulations. And we will be in contact regarding your prize and we just want to say thank you to everyone that's been keeping up with us so far with all of our promo following us adding us watching us all the things so just keep coming by stay tuned and tune in to this weekly he weekly he thank y'all we love y'all why'd you stop and I just wanna tell you how I feel I'm pretty sure everything's been said Someone else come around, my brain go dead Rushing in familiar territory, leaving things unread Y'all been waiting plans, all this time ready to see us Welcome to our new podcast, We Ain't Got It Yet I'm K.E. I'm Consuela I'll be happy that you, you know, tuning in to us Hopefully we can bring some content, you know, from the studio Straight to your phone, your laptop, however you watch your TV I know y'all like to sit up and watch trap you know, music on your TV, so hopefully we can get in there in your schedule a little bit or something. Put us on your big screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely put me on the big screen. Yeah. Get to know me. To know uh -huh. us. Okay, so we ain't got it yet. You know, welcome to like, our podcast again. I think, you know, the most important thing we want to tell you now is why we've started the podcast. And I guess you want to start it, you know. Well, since I'm on the spot. Um... So we started, I would say we started, it started from us just being friends, you know, but we started the podcast because I think I, I, we both have like the same, not thought process, but we still, we feel the same. We on the same journey of trying to get it, but not having it yet. Absolutely. And wanting you all to know this, it's okay to not have it. Like, it's okay. People... Social media make people think that they need to have it. They're supposed to have it. But it's okay to not have it. It's okay to work towards their journey, towards getting it, because that's our journey. We on the way. We not perfect. We everyday people. We we, we ain't got it yet. That's a fact, man. <laughs> I think for me, even being in the space that, I'm, that I'm, I'm in, I think people seem to think just because I am, you know, who I am, people think that, you know, I got a couple of degrees. I, I mean, I got it. I mm. don't. I don't got it. Three, deg three degrees deep and ain't got it. You know, still learning day by day, just progressing, you know, being around the right people. I think that's the biggest thing. And we, yeah. at this point, we trying to be your people, you know. So just tune in, lock in. Hopefully we can share some content with you that you can really take and, you know, kind of apply to your life. I ain't going to say my life perfect. We I know, hey, life ain't know, perfect. Hey, hey. Life ain't perfect, <laughs> you hear me? But we, you know. We trying to get there as a, as a, as a collective trying to make it, especially you know for our, our people here in Arkansas. They yeah. coming straight to you from Arkansas. Podcast is being recorded in in, in Little Rock, actually on the north side. <laughs> not not, not going to say Little Rock. Just we we recording this bad boy on the north side. So um, definitely want to tap in with our people who are, who are here, the generation you know that we come from. And let you know that it's all right not to have it. Because we see, like you said, on social media, people constantly having... Luxury lifestyle. Luxury lifestyle, bro. I'm trying to figure out how they're affording all these vacations. And I ain't going to work. I ain't got no job. <laughs> ain't, it, ain't, it ain't about not going to work. These folks ain't, ain't got, got no, no job. job. Yeah, and I ain't on y'all neck. I love it for y'all. I love it for y'all. I ain't on the neck. I just know I go to work every day and I ain't got it yet. I ain't got I it ain't yet. I ain't got it yet. So, I mean... We tell, don't get it though. Tell us about you though. Tell us, tell us who who are you? Tell the people, Consuela. Who is Consuela? Consuela is young and turned. Nah, I'm just playing. She nah, she ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> turned she, out of body. She a little she turnt. a busy about it. No, but I'm trying. I ooh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm 29, single, no kids. You 29? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, I thought you was a little bit older than me. Go ahead. I, how old are you? Oh, I'm 29. That's why I'm confused when you said you were 29. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm knocking on 30. We almost there. 30, 30. Ooh, that made my heart skip a beat. I can't wait to be 30, 30. Mm -hmm. 30, 30. 30, 30. Can't wait. But yeah, I mean, I, I I have a degree in psychology. Got my bachelor's in psychology, you know. Um, My hands actually, let me keep them down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> I, I mean... 
Y'all go get to know me. Tune in. If you want to know me, you got to tune in and watch because I'm an I'm a open book. I'm going to tell you. But just on the surface level, I, I love the Lord. I'm single. I'm 29. No kids. Um, like I said, my degree. is you trying to holler at him? I might single with no kids. My check one two one two. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's me. If you want to know more uh, deeper, then you gotta tune in to see. Period. Episode one, she already shooting her shot at the camera. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Ke. Uh, most people when you see me on this thing, you're like who is Ke? Like I done made up this persona. People who know me know me. I'm Ke. You call me Ke. A lot of our people, my friend groups call me K.E. I was mm-hmm. known as K.E. in high school, so we just going to roll with K.E. Because I think that's the truest version of myself. Like, dead serious. You know how you got to go to work and you got a cold switch? I'm K.E. It worked too, though? Yeah, what? Oh. Definitely. Being an educator, I can't just go up in there and just be me. You got a cold switch. Mm. And when I say be me, I mean, you know, I am I am going to be be me if you if you don't. You know, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm gonna be me, but I think the biggest thing is um, this is the best way I could put it. When you look me up, you can be like, "Oh, dang, this joke educated." Yeah, get, get a doctorate in education. That now, you know, you, super you educated. But I just want y'all to know right now, I got on black forces. And see, you trifling for that? Black forces, white socks. Cause why are you coming here? Joggers. <laughs> and when I leave, I'm going back to work. For real. Damn serious, bro. I got the grind. I ain't fit to stop. Just cause we done started a little podcast. What you thought? Well, I'm off on weekends. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, I'm at work, so. Mm. Yeah, so, K.E., again, I think I don't even think I, I just got off topic. <laughs> <laughs> K.E. That's who she is. Yeah, that's, that's she works. She a workaholic. They yeah. remain the same in all settings. That's a fact. Definitely a workaholic. I'm a grinder. And I bet you if you ask anybody about me, that's that's probably the... I mean, we're a very passionate, passionate grinder, which is why I'm like passionate about what I do when I'm going to be, you know, when we interviewing people, uh, we come in here and we having these genuine conversations. I think for me, it's like, like I said, I'm an educator. I think I care more about like our own development as a people, like our progression. I agree with that. That's very much who you are. Yeah. yeah that's that's you. For yeah. sure. Even people, as a friend, though. People see me on the skin, sir, they probably just think I'm a jokester. I mean, you that too. You you're definitely yeah. that. I ain't no don't play with me though. I ain't no <laughs> joke like that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. That's that's. I, but you you want better for your people, like yeah. all across. For I sure. Say that about you. So so even with saying that, I guess it kind of leads into like more deep into why we starting this podcast is because I think genuine conversations need to be had. I the think ones that people not having or scared to have. Definitely not having and scared to have. That's the mm-hmm. that's the number one. Being scared to have them. Or, like, I think in our generation, we get to hang in with people and our people want to talk about is, you know, sex, you know, hoes. You know, we may need to cut that. <laughs> but, you know, I just. They, it's the party. Yeah, the party life. Party that, life. That was that. <laughs> we here. Party life. Want to talk, you know, just, just out here vacationing and just, you know, I ain't going to say bull jiving around. They just saying serious. So unserious <laughs> about life. That's, that's for real. Well, that that's the truth. That is that's that's. What you say to yesterday? Unhinged. Unhinged behavior. <laughs> unhinged behavior. And I don't think we take a life serious, bro. So so for real, that's that's the biggest reason why we want to bring it to. We ain't got it yet because even though we ain't got it yet, we need to be focusing on how to get it. But I'm learning too because I can't lie. I I don't take life serious a lot of times when I should. Well, we gonna get that <laughs> together because I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead trying at, though. What they say, dead ass. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead I'm, serious. I'm trying. I just be having fun sometimes. The joke ain't nothing but the joke to have, huh? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much you know the process of why we trying to do this thing is to get have those conversations with people in our generation, along with you know it ain't like we above these people. We let you know we part of the group. We part they of the group. And, and, and what we not knowing is we feel the big people to take over. <laughs> Hey. And it's real unserious right now. <laughs> so we need to be having some deeper conversations. Whether that be what, like education? What, what other education, topics you want to tap um, Mental health. That's being used mental so, health. like, loose. Na- like, I don't, it's, we'll get there. But definitely mental health. Mental health, for sure. Um, uh, careers. Careers. 
uh, vacations, just talking about things that we really taxes. I want to cover some serious stuff on here too, because <laughs> what we not when we don't understand, that's really what's cutting us loose. I ain't want. I don't want this just be no. Be telling you. I want it to be conversational and stuff too. But I think we need to cover some of that stuff. You know. Well, we we can. We need a politic. Oh. I ain't gonna do all that. I ain't gonna do all that. Don't friends. make me take you to church. Now we can do that. We can take you there. <laughs> hey, I'll be ready to take you to church. First of all, speaking of church, we didn't even I pray. Wanted, that was your job, though. You were supposed to bring us in before we got this, all ten. Why is she a liar? Why are you a liar? You sat at the table last night and said, "Cause I'm starting out with the Lord." That did you not lie? If we want to talk about liars. I also said we were getting up work out at 6 a.m. I tried to work up at 4 45. Didn't want to let know what time was. It was 4 Girl, if you don't leave me alone. Because <laughs> that's too early. That's too early. Pot calling the kettle black. Well, at least I do. I was working out, just not today. You ain't getting in today, though. That's the only today matters. What you did yesterday don't matter Please no more. Thank the Lord for us being All here right. today. So, uh,. You gonna pray? You had the thing that you wanted to do with the people. That I was forgot. your job. You know, I'm gonna just. It. We gonna pray from the heart. Lord, thank you for allowing us to be here on this um, podcast. God, we pray that you touch us so we're able to touch others, um, and just give us the words to say. Jesus, anoint us so we can have an anointed, blessed podcast. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Definitely want to be. Cause we got he gotta lead us so we can cause this is none of us. This is him working through. Okay, I ain't gonna Nah, don't do too much now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So don't it do is. Too much so it ain't now. the Lord working so, through us. Yes, ab- to abso- touch them. Absolutely wanna, you know, talk about the things that matter the most and, and get into, you know, empowering people and sharing things, but I ain't gonna put everything we gonna say on him. Oh. Yeah, I ain't going to put everything <laughs> on my boy. I ain't going to do him that bad. Yeah, okay. We can't, yeah. yeah. Jesus and X being everything. And yeah, all everything the things, got him. All so, the things, night. Okay. Fair enough. Someone be demon time. He ain't did that. That's what I know he ain't did. I got to stay away from demon time. When's the last time you saw demon time? Go on and tell the people. When's the last time you saw demon time? Give me the book. Demon time. Um, New Year's Eve. Tell me about it. What happened? We ain't we there say yet. It. Y'all, I don't know if I know y'all like that yet. We got to see. Should I tell y'all or not? Yeah. But that's the last time I was on Demon Time. I can't be honest and say that. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. we'll get it to it. We'll we let it save it because we want y'all to keep coming back. So maybe that right there, <laughs> that'll bring y'all back because I know she got a story to tell. Ooh. Especially if you know Consuela. Stories to tell. Lots of stories. Lots of things to share. Some real stuff, but also some funny stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, back to the topic, so what else we going to cover? Uh, let me see what I wrote down. We got, I got to go to. Uh, and, and traumas. Traumas. Definitely traumas. Traumas generational. From all kind of. Most definitely. Yeah. What I got to write down, I got church. We're going to talk about church. We're going to talk about people. For sure. People. Uh, relationships. Because I'm, I'm talking about people at church. I know what I'm saying. But relationships. I don't want, I'm not taking to church because I go to church. Uh, you go to church? Yeah, you go to church. church. Tomorrow? You go to church tomorrow? I don't know. The weather kind of bad right now. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go. Back. Gonna I, draw, I gotta go. go to the Lord. <laughs> no. I'm going to church tomorrow. If I if I stay here, I'm going to go with you. But. Well, yeah. Pull up. We wait, go to church. You just flew past this relationship. Yeah, they're relationships. Go ahead. What what y'all love life look like? My hands are actually I got to keep them off the screen. We're going to talk about love life come uh, <laughs> another episode. I'm you can give My love life great. My love life great. What that mean, though? I mean, I said it I was great. Through. It's been it's great, and I can't wait to tell y'all how to, ha- how to not, I ain't going to say be successful. But how to tell good, me. But how to have a good love life. Oh, okay. You know, we can talk about that. that Because right now, I, I ain't going to say we ain't got it yet, but we, we, we learn it. Like, as you progress as a person, you learn how to love people better when you love yourself better and the expectations of life. We're going to get to that. Relationships. Being broke. Because you, we be broke. And y'all be broke, too. I yeah, don't even know. when you think you got it, you really broke. We ain't there yet. Yeah, Which yeah. is what really where the name of this came from. It's like, we, th- <laughs> we think we got it. 
And then you like, as you continue to age and day by day, you realize, bro, it's so much to learn and so much to gain. You really ain't got it yet. And that's okay. Like, I cannot put enough emphasis on it that it's okay to not have it yet. As long as you trying yeah. and you working towards having it, it's, it's okay to it's not have it. Do. All you can do is what you can do. What they say, just stand. But we, we just, we got, <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot to bring to y'all. Just yeah. Just check us out. Come back every week. We're we going to talk you. about, you know, because I'm educated, we're going to talk about how different kids is. And we're just like how different kids is, like parenting and stuff, and like how things are transformed. I've been dealing with some crazy stuff over the Ooh. last few years being an educator, dog. And I know it's wild in your field. Because this, it's wild. let me tell you, not even to just, we going to touch on it, but that gentle parenting, I'm just on the fence with that. I'm going to be honest. You know, I, I ain't telling nobody to beat your kid, but also... Did you get beat growing up? I got a couple whoopings. A couple? You I probably, probably can count on one hand. She probably needed a few more. Yeah, I didn't get a lot. My daddy never whooped me. He's never whooped me a day in his life. Mine either. Mine grew up with my daddy in my house, though. We're going to get to that. <laughs> we're going we gonna to get to that, though. We're going to get deep into that as far as, you know, how we was raised. and All you know, things. I want to talk about... You know, people, and when I say people, like groups of people, so not just black people, white people. I want to talk about like all, all the like stereotypes we have regarding people and how we be dealing with people. I think that's a big part of our problems. It's like these stereotypes, how we got the you know, wait, 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 stereotypes like what though? I don't want to get into it. I don't want the first podcast somebody <laughs> get offended. Okay, I okay, need them okay. to come back. We, okay. These are just like things we gonna cover. I can't cover it today. We gonna we gonna get there because I want y'all to come back and see future episodes. I don't want you to be rubbed wrong because the the lady with the black air force that said something. But even if I mean, not that we purposely trying to rub nobody wrong, but everybody not gonna agree with everything anyway. And you already know I really don't care about that. <laughs> So come back. <laughs> don't just leave us hanging if we say yeah. something that you don't like. I mean, keep up. leave a comment or something. Let us know. But yeah. So let's talk about that, like interactions with with everybody. Like I feel, I feel like in this first podcast, I will, I would love to hear more about you know y'all expectations for the podcast. Like what you want to hear. Cause yeah. I, I don't want to get up here and just you know be talking and it's you know con I know it's conversational it's just us in here right now currently we we're, we're going to be interviewing people in the future but we would love to, to to hear about topics that you guys want to be covered the conversations specifically you having with your friends at home with your families things that you ain't covering cuz my biggest thing is for me I think I learn more when I'm having conversations with like older people people with experience mm. and I don't even be knowing I be needing the stuff know. yeah what I mean, yeah, like when I talk to my grandma, but she like eighty five. I I, but I, it's I fun talking to her. It's fun. Listen, yeah. everybody needs to hang with my granny because she fun. Yeah, but just sitting up talking to old people. I love talking to old people. Like they all got the so time. Much to, That's yeah, why serious. you don't be talking to me on a daily basis. Facts. Be talking. To what old we talking people. about? My life. <laughs> we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. This is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> Someone serious. I'm, that my life so is serious. serious. I do. I yeah. I text her about serious things, and she just laugh at me. You do, and I'm gonna keep doing it. The voice I do, give you, good, I do is, give you a good advice. When you get if when you get a when I get a voice memo from you, going I in. already know going in. <laughs> Cause why you can't type it when it say voice? I got the gone voice. Who got the gone? Keep it a book. I ain't got time to be typing this. I need you to hear my voice so you understand. I be mean, understanding too. Yeah, long. you kind of mean though. She kind of mean. You a good friend though. Then say that first. <laughs> say that first. She is. She a good friend. She just kind of mean sometimes. But everybody need a mean friend because well, everybody I mean. don't need a yes man. You and know, ain't, and she ain't that ain't at that. all ever ain't, in life. Ain't never gonna be that. Don't care if you happy about it. I guess I talk not. Oh, I know, how to, handle, I know how to handle. I don't know how to handle my friends though. I don't like though. you no more. What? <laughs> I just thought about a situation, but we. Mm. What happened? Cause I almost wasn't talking to you for six months too. I talked. I went. I didn't talk to somebody else in that group. What I do? Y'all agreed that I enjoyed a situation in my life that I did not. You definitely did. We ain't gonna get on that. We gonna we gonna say that that one for a good one. You definitely did. You definitely had to enjoy that. I'm finna if not talk are, to y'all for we, six months again. I ain't finna do. I ain't gonna do the people <laughs> like that. But we gonna say that one because you definitely enjoyed that. 
No, I didn't. If you allow things to continue to happen and you don't take control. Anyway, anyway, okay. How how are we friends? How we know each other? How I know Yeah, you, you? ain't tell the people. You ain't do a good job telling the people that. I, so, so <laughs> we thank you. I'll take over. <laughs> I ain't going to do that the whole I'm podcast. Get what I was going to say. I ain't going to, yeah, just because you didn't show it out talking about, ah, you enjoyed that. So, me and Consuela, we met probably like, was it like middle school, junior high? Yeah, it was like that eighth, yeah. ninth grade. You was probably eighth grade. Early on. Young, younger. <laughs> younger. So, uh, we met through like friends. Friends so, and church? So, definitely friends and church. So, I am, if you look at me, play sports. You know, um, I'm a, a coach now, but uh, we Not met me. through my friends. My basketball teammates mm-hmm. were really good friends with you, and I would love to know more about how you became friends with them because that that's I don't know if you lived in another city. How did you come become friends with them? Well, you know, so I'm from Warren, and well, you know that, but y'all, right. I'm from Warren, yeah. Warren, Arkansas, uh, and they y'all y'all was in Monticello, so right. But my parents used to well, we went to a church in Monticello, right. And then my parents also worked at Vera Lloyd. So I was just always in Monticello. So the the ones that went to church, the girl that went to church, that we and her was initially close first because of church. Mm. But then once like the Camp Benet era and all that. Camp Benet used to <laughs> jump, boy. <laughs> Anybody know about Revive said the boy Camp Benet used to jump. Yeah, so the Camp Benet era, they kind of like brought everybody all. Uh, because, you know, our church was popping. Our church... You know, so yeah. everybody came yeah. and we, cause we all we always had stuff for like the youth to do and stuff going on, and so really that's how it started. Okay, and, but I don't remember. That's crazy. We I don't remember how we like. When the first time that I even hung out with you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I I, I'm, I I don't know. I think it just came like hanging around church, then hanging around my friends, and then the group message the friends. Okay, so big big deal. A lot of people in Southeast so Arkansas. We had a, a really I ain't gonna say because really initially I wasn't in it. Who started the? We we'll get into it. Somebody <laughs> started the group chat uh, with Southwest Arkansas people, and then like all of us like got to like about five years ago, like right before COVID. Yeah, remember we would always like link COVID. up and hang out. COVID. Now, where you from? COVID. <laughs> Don't piss me off. First episode. COVID. <laughs> now I got to think about how I was talking. COVID. Okay, but that group message, yes, they made yeah. it. But yeah, I wasn't in it initially. I don't know how you got in. I don't. I don't even know Who how I got in. There? I don't remember. I think. Matter of fact, I remember how the group chat started. The group chat started because we was all super excited about Mario Kart. Remember that? It got started for all of us the to game? play Mario Kart, the game, in the group chat. That's serious. I wasn't even excited about this, so that's probably why I wasn't. All right, there. whatever, bro. Don't get on here and hold. My <laughs> I man, don't get on here and act like that with us. Anyway, so we started the group chat to play Mario Kart, and then we it got to the point like when everybody would come home on the weekends, yeah. or because I I was living in in the town. I was the only one that was there. I feel like everybody yeah, else had moved for school yeah. or yeah. sports or yeah. work. I think it's right. I think it's right. And we would come home, and we'd always come to your crib. Kick it, have a good time. It's a bit, boy, you got some tales about bro, boy. <laughs> boy, you got to tell time about that. Now. So y'all just coming to my apartment having game nights, and I wasn't even in the group message. Y'all trifling. You had to been in the group chat by then, though. I was nice. I think so. I you was. You was definitely in the group chat by then. Yeah, yeah Maybe was. I was. Anyway. If I was, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, yeah you need to. I don't think yeah, I was. You're going to do a lot of that. You get on here and get capped out. You was in that group chat by then. What? What? Uh, capped out? What? I don't, wait. Yeah, you. What else? By that, you was in that group chat by the end. Okay. In that group chat, and, and so then that's, I think how we start so that's how we started happening. That's how we started kicking it. The group chat and yeah. the game nights. Back to the original point. Yeah, that's yeah. how we started. Gra- and the game night turned into like all of us like really like locking in and being dependent on each other. I think we had remember we had mental health Mondays. We did. That got out of hand. Well, let me tell y'all about this. I hope she see it. We got a friend in the group chat who had a, brought a friend to the group chat, and she was a terrorist. She was terrorizing everybody in that group chat. She was the reason a lot of people loved that group chat. You right. I can't even lie. You right. She ain't bother me. I still talk she to her. She ain't bother me? You, no, do, you said you still talk to her? I ain't talked to her in a while. Would. I said I still talk to her. I I haven't talked. I, I mean, not for no specific Are reason. Are y'all friends I just on, on Facebook? Yeah. yeah we talk there too. in the comments sometimes. It's been a minute since I talked to her. But anyway, the girl was terrorizing everybody in the group chat, and that kind of dispersed the group chat. It kind of ruined some. It was probably some like, friend- what, That ruined 15, some friendships. 15 people? No, it wasn't probably 15, but it was a good 10 or 12, and now it's like, what, 7? Yeah. You remember that Six. one person said we called everybody lame? <laughs> <laughs> that when the group chat got slim, they started cutting folks out. 
Yeah. And we still People say just it. So, sh- just, <laughs> she was right. She was right. <laughs> What how, what was it? What was it that she said? I, I think she because she said somebody was lame or that maybe she called the whole yeah, she chat called lame. the whole the whole group maybe chat she lame. All lame. She like <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I don't even know. I don't know what happened for her to say that. Anyway, but yeah, yeah. That's how we start kicking and hanging out. Now I think now uh, the people in the group chat done pissed me off. And listen, when she get mad at somebody. She get mad. I don't want. Do you hungry? You think you hungry? Or just or you just gotta let the time. No, I pass? just got. I've people. It's the <laughs> it be the principle for stuff. I because I'm over it. I still talk to everybody. Like, you talk now. Sometime. No, I don't be talking in the group chat because now people, she talk months later. Yeah, I still rock with everybody. It's just that I feel so like. Rock- it go, it be go me- back I'm to the same thing. Messy. Though. So you rock with everybody in that group chat. Every. Yeah. Yeah. Look at I'm, look at Teddy. Everybody in the group chat when you see this, <laughs> I still love y'all. Hearts. I rock with y'all. I just feel like, you know, I, I think I'm at the age now and I'm gonna keep it a bug. Just like this is why we're doing the podcast. I'm at the age now where I feel like relationships have to be intentional. That's you have true. to intentionally be people's friends. Like right, like right now, I'm gonna reach out to you and I'm gonna check on you. I we see we share podcasts daily. Yeah. We laugh and talk. Uh and then you and another person in the group chat, we have a separate chat, and we we actually, like, motivate each other. I think all three of us are working out. I'm trying to get on the two a day with y'all. But I think I think when you talk about intentionally days. being friends with people, it has to be more than just, like, y'all want to spend time with me when it's time to turn up. I think I'm, I'm past that age, bro. Well, that go for me, too, because I had a friend, and it took me a while to realize that Which was Which goes my, back to New Year's. My turn up friend. She went with me. I had to talk to I'm talking about a girl. Yeah, I know. Oh, I thought no. you were talking about, okay, go my back. Uh-uh. My you fault? You said demon time. I thought you was talking about something else. But you got a lot of things, <laughs> bro. I don't be knowing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But, but you got to become I friends I thought she off. was like a, I, she was a party friend. And no, that's, man. I mean, I get, is that okay to have, I guess? I mean. I mean, it is, You got, but you got to understand that. But you got to know <clears> where to hold them. Yeah, in yeah. In your life. But, but I ain't know that, though. You didn't. I mean, I'm. Let me stop lying, cause you I ain't even figuring on her cap. I know like who people really are. Yeah. I know I know who people really are. So when it comes down to it, like I'm at the point in life where I don't want a lot of that around me. I want people who gonna lock in with me, people who motivate me, who people gonna pursue me, t- not pursue me, who are going to push me towards pursuing my dreams. Like that's true. We, this, this, we've been talking about this so long. What the podcast? Yeah, yeah. Let me talk about this so long. We had another act, another not activity, but another venture we wanted to all do together. You I know, really, I don't, I don't, don't start it because I had that on my vision board. Absolutely, and it wasn't. You know, and you know, um, that was just re brought back up to me where I had an opportunity to re engage in that, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna let that die. Yeah, because it was only out of like it was seven like people. It was only probably really like three. To, yeah. Yeah. Had me putting that on my vision board. Yeah, had me real deal spending the rest of my time on it. And I, at this point, I, don't, I only got time for like things that are not just benefiting me because I want to be a giver too. You the want people to that, be an asset, not a liability. We here. Girl, you educated I like know a mug, I'm girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm looking for assets. And I think that's. That's something that we have to really need to start locking in on early because we ain't got it yet. You ain't got it. You ain't gonna constantly not have it. Keep w- it yeah. You ain't what? gonna constantly ha- you not gonna have it if you keep doing the same stuff. You're gonna keep getting over the same over. thing over and over again. Same results. Same results. That's a gym. Relationships. Oh, Back to relationships. Pepper. What I can't it? wait to talk about uh, relationships. You can't wait. No, 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 no. no, no. What you want Calm us to know? <laughs> Calm down. I can't wait. And, and I'm gonna let's say this. This ain't gonna be one of them podcasts where we just sit up here and like we talking, you know, trash about men and then talking trash about women and like down talking mm-hmm. because we. I mean, we are gonna analyze some of the stuff like this. But I ain't. First of all, I ain't finna let you just talk crazy. And any interviewer to come on here, anybody we interview, I ain't, ain't gonna be just talk, down talking men. Cause I love all I mean, my work husbands. Women try. <laughs> Cause I love, I, finna say I love was. all my work husbands, and y'all, you ain't finna just be speaking on on women their gender. trifling too though. Women be low key sometimes a little more trifling than men anyway. But that's another topic for another day. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, I, I ain't trifling. I ain't trifling. Doing, I ain't trifling. I just I stand on business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give no I don't give 
shit by number two. I look. <laughs> y'all. Y'all got to tune in. Yeah, it's definitely going to be some good stuff. It's going to be some good stuff. For real. But what, what I was really saying when I said relationships, I never get to, got to sick as you. Because you beating I, around. I am. Your friendships. Life. Losing friends. Oh, friendships. And I know we just platonic. a little bit covered that a little bit, but platonic relationships. Absolutely. We just covered that a little bit, but like your first friend heartbreak. It be real. Whoa, that hurt me. But I didn't have one until I was grown. Like a That's real, what I'm saying. It hurt my feelings. I ain't, I, I had one know. little incident. I, I still think I might be. But a it was hurt. like it was it was some jealousy in that. I had one little incident early on. And I never I ain't never lost a friend until most recently. Kobe it was about it. Couple years ago. Me too. Same. It hurt my feelings too. Yeah. I still I I ain't gonna say I'm just like devastated still, but it's still it's staying a little bit it's still. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you love people. Yeah. I'm a big lover, so I can mm-hmm. yeah, I can't wait to share that that stuff and get into the and deep stuff like that. Cause I think dealing with real situations and being able to it's almost gonna be not an AA meeting. <laughs> this yeah. ain't no A. I got a story for that but, too. Then <laughs> this ain't one of them. But this is like you know, I want this to be a Mondays when you come tune in and you lock in with us. I want this to be like a little warm hug to your heart. Yeah, that's Don't a good way to say it. Yeah. That's so nice. I did that, didn't I? I ate. You did, friend. You I ate that one. <laughs> you but I, I, but that's real. That's I, that's I, that's my love language. You know that? What physical touch? Physical touch. Yeah, ain't nobody said nothing. No, I'm talking said about the conversation, hug. the time, oh, the quality time, the spending, I, you know, the engaging. I just had a conversation with somebody about love, about love languages. I don't, I don't think I know mine, or I feel like mine changed with whoever different people I talk to. Do that make sense? I don't know. We are gonna get into it though. Yeah. I, know, I know my little language. My little language quality time right now. This right here, this conversation right here, is this is a, a comfort hug to my soul. Cause you don't even hug me for real. She don't hug me. My words should be a hug. Mm mm. If I'm your friend, hug me. I'm gonna give you a hug when the podcast off. She don't even tell me she love me. You a lie. When last time you told don't me don't get on me. her, man. Don't make you- me go look. Don't make me go look. Don't get on here you lying to them 30 people. Thirty seconds to find it. Anybody go. who rock with me know off the rip. I'm okay, gonna say you I do love tell you. me you love me, but not a lie. We okay. Well, I can be better, but don't get on here capping with these people like I'm just hard. Wait, like you, that. It, it's I been ain't a hard long body time. like that. It's been a long time since you told I, me you bro, love not, me. Uh, cunt sweat got cut that. How many friends you got? You just name it. All these things. <laughs> <laughs> she love me, but don't I'm even sorry. know my name. I'm sorry, cunt sweat. <laughs> I love you, friend. You are you are an asset to my life. I'm gonna I, be proud. I, I am I am proud of the transition that you've made in life. Cause you the was progress. there through the wild trans. Cause you was you was hard body. Boy, Hellcat three ninety two. Yeah, Hellcat is her team. Listen, I wouldn't even. She would she would like I'm riding in the rental car. <laughs> she was hard body like that. You hear me? No. So you done transition okay. like you the whole you I I have enjoyed watching. I love you, friend. I love you too. She love me, y'all. And we love y'all. Now see, this is what I be talking about. She done made me tell her that I love you her, her on camera and all this stuff. She ain't tell me I love you too, friend, and went on. What you wanted me to say? You didn't go why through you a phase that I went through. Why do you love me? Why now do I tell I love the people, you? look at the camera, tell the people why you love me. Why I gotta tell them why I love you? Trifling. This is what I'm talking about. Now, if I, I was to cut off and we wouldn't need, if I was to cut off and, 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 and not talk to her for, for a couple of weeks like I did you these ain't gonna, other people. Yeah, the, the, them other people. Y'all ain't going to get no podcast. Mm-hmm. I love Recipro- you for a lot of reasons. Reciprocity. I, the, the, the reason, I love you for a lot of reasons, but the reason that I just love you the most, the absolute most, because you, you mean. You keep me on the straight, straight and narrow. Okay, as long as you appreciate that. So so, yeah, so moving forward on these other episodes, when she gets to the point where she just acting like I'm just trifling and I'm rude and I mean, sometimes she got to be put in line because she be wilding. And I, okay, I'm doing better. Yeah, you... Then I said that, though. But yeah, that's why that's why I love you the most because you probably, like, out of all... The, well, I it ain't like I just got a million friends, but out of all my friends, you... You gonna... You gonna tell the truth all the time. All my friends tell the truth, but tell you the truth, gonna tell the truth. 
And you gonna tell it however it pop up in your brain. No time for nothing short of it. Yeah. So that's the main reason why I love you. Yeah, thank you. That's friend. the most important reason. That's all that matters. I I want to be love for genuine. Genuine yeah, genuine reason. Thank you. For telling the people. Cause I knew that already. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that already. Okay. So what else we what else we supposed to be telling the people? We done told y'all who we is. To an extent, you're going to have to keep coming back. Now, I can't give everything to you in the first podcast. You got to keep showing up. Show up. We done told you that. We done told you the purpose of the podcast, what we're going to be covering. You know, we done told you we want to give your heart a, a hug. And we need, give, well, we're not, not going to say need, but we would like feedback. Like, leave us comments or DMs. Even or, if you hate on us, keep watching, G. What? It ain't gonna bother me. What you hating for it anyway? It ain't gonna bother me. Keep pull up. Keep pulling up. <laughs> I love it. Constructive criticism. We like it. We love it. We want some more of it. You ate. <laughs> you ate. <laughs> okay. We told you. We told you how we know each other. The questions that are going to be answered in the podcast. We pretty Our much email, covered all though, that. Is that? Oh are yeah, we yeah, have yeah. A separate one? yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Because no, no. if y'all got some questions and y'all don't want to like comment. In yeah. the open for people to there. see. We got yeah, to get gonna that. We're going to get it for so, y'all. So if you got any questions, anything you want to, you know, mention our previous podcast, if we could address it to the next, po- the next podcast or something, you can hit us up at host at weaintgotityet.com. Hit us up. Drop a, on, on all these social media handles. Most of them are at weaintgotityet.com. I think it's it's Instagram. Somebody got our name, man. Somebody help me figure out how to get that because they wild. They ain't even they using got that it. one? Yeah, it's a period on it. You know this? That's how I know when I send you stuff, you're going to be like that. So on Instagram, it's at we ain't got it dot yet because somebody already got that name. We're going to work on, we gonna work on retrieving me. that. Somebody got this name or ain't got it yet all together. This Read the name. thing, man. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's a period between the it and the dot yet. The people got it. Follow us. And if you ain't got it, yeah, add us, us on social media. Pull up, man. We got to get the content popping. It's going to be some more time. Wait, wait. On the questions, if they email. Tell us if you want to be anonymous because I got it bad with name. Dry. I'll be going to see We're going to make it anonymous. Lisa, told, I want Lisa called to... in and told us. Lisa emailed us in. Yeah. <laughs> we going to make sure it's anonymous. We're going to take care of that. I ain't, we ain't going to tell their business. We're going well, we to tell your business because you sent it in for us to ask for your business. So, you know, mm-hmm. hopefully you understand how that works. And if you don't, you need to watch some podcasts, baby. And then come back experienced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> experienced. Lord Jesus. Anyway, thank y'all for watching thus far. Yeah. We, uh, we hope y'all got to know us a little bit better. A little. Yeah, just a little bit because uh, we're going we gonna to be bringing it to you weekly. Bringing us in some, man, some people. And tell us who you want to see on here. Once you get to knowing us, you see our our, our, um, our personalities and you want to see some people on, you know, hit us up. And we we love to have them here. If you somebody who, first of all, I want to keep it, but we ain't fit to have all y'all on here. You ain't got nothing to say. That was not nice. But it was true. That's how, yeah. should, be, that's how should be. Come on, say how y'all ain't got nothing to say. I can't. We just can't be putting any willy willy nilly person on here now. We don't know you from campaign. So what they need to do? Email us and let us know. Let why us they know who on. you want to see on here, and don't tell me you want to be on. But here. you, but they need to tell us why. Cause she, you gonna ask? You gonna be like, why? If it's, if it's I mean, you don't I mean, know. if I look up the person, then I, and I can kind of get to know, like, see why these people want. Cause we got to get to know our audience. We don't know who's gonna pull up and want to watch us. Everybody, so I'm on. We finna go gonna, number one, baby. You hear me? <laughs> Yay! Definitely gonna be trying to go number one. I don't know. It's gonna take. It's gonna take a minute. We are gonna grind out though. You are gonna get the content. I mean, if we don't go number one, it's cause the content trash. And we ain't trash. Definitely far from it. I ain't never we been bring you, We gonna bring you some weekly heat. What weekly heat? Some weekly heat. Weekly eight, eight. Okay. All right, so I think we should wrap it up. Let's wrap okay. it up. Um, at the end of every podcast. We're going to be dropping you some motivational uh, pieces or, you know, just something to get you through the week and to keep you coming back. Because hopefully, you know, you you take this and you can apply it. To your life. All right. Well, let me see what I got. What you got? What you got for the people <sighs> today? I don't want to come too hard. Okay. Take I want to come hard. I want it to be something something light. Something light. Um, here's one. The most expensive thing in the world is a missed opportunity. Mm-hmm. 
That opportunity is the process, not the outcome. Get uncomfortable. And with that, I just feel like we be wanting what's at the end of the tunnel so bad when you really need to desire the process that comes to get you what's at the end of the tunnel. That's true. Because without it, you don't get to the end of the tunnel. Fall in love with the process. And I feel like as a coach, I'm constantly preaching that. The that was process. A good one. The process is the most important thing. How you got there. That was a good one. I like that one. That was a good way to end. Snap me up. Poetic. <laughs> that was a good one. Ow. So take that, apply it to your week, to your life, and come back. Yeah. Pull up on me. Pull up on me <laughs> next week. Come on, show me, children. And that's real. One that feels like what are you real tight till midnight? Tell me how you miss free throws, that's free points on the field. Think about another nigga wanna be on baby.